Hi and welcome to this next video in the Agility Dev Environment series. My name is John Jardine and today I'm going to show you how to install a powerful tool by the name of Postman. And before we kick things off, a quick introduction. What is Postman? Well, in short, Postman is a client that you install on your operating system that allows you to interact and test web APIs or also known as web services. Now Postman comes with a plethora of capability including the ability to create mock services, work with teams, create and manage collections and a number of other things. But the truth is most of the time you'll be using Postman for its very simple user interface and the ability just to run web services and uh, manage and measure the responses thereof. So let's get Postman installed shall we? So here I have Mac OS open and I'm pointing to a URL called getpostman.com forward slash apps and that takes us to this window where we can then go and download the app and in this case we're going to download Postman for Mac. Now I've already done this on my side so you can see that Postman's already been downloaded and all I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this to the applications folder and once I've done that I can simply double click on it and Postman will start up. So it's really easy on an OSX environment to install and run Postman. So you first get taken to the sign up page, but the truth is you don't even actually have to sign up. Uh, it's only when you want to synchronize your services and uh, possibly upgrade to one of their paid offerings that you might go and create an account. But if you don't want to and you just want to get straight into Postman to start using it, you can just click on this link at the bottom, skip signing in and take me straight to the app and that will also bring you to a little bit of a launch screen uh, which I'm just going to ignore for now so I'm just going to close that but here we are this is the user interface for Postman and this is pretty much where you'll be playing 90% of the time so uh, let's let's just try one or two things over here let's see uh, let's go API demo I'll try one of agility services uh, .io so if I just try and hit API demo .agility .io over here and it's a get request you'll see that it's running the service and it will deliver a response. Now in this case we can see okay it was a 401 unauthorized response because I did not provide an API key in the header parameters as one of the header parameters so that's fine uh, but we can also see more or less how long it took and so on and so forth. Uh, if I just went to something a little easier like just agility.io which is just a normal website it's a static website at the end of the day any website is a get request if I click on the send option we should get a whole bunch of HTML returned which is perfect so we can now see that this is a 200 response and we can see the size of the payload that was returned and we can also see the version of the payload or the actual HTML that was returned in this case so that's uh, Postman in a nutshell and that's, that's exactly what you need 90% of the time in order to test uh, many of these APIs that are available out there 